Hey guys, time for a top 10 films of 2013 video. I'm sure there's only like 6,000 of these on YouTube. Well, 2013 was an interesting year. Not just for movies, for politics, for eating sliced bread. You know, it happened. Stuff happened. So, all kinds of stuff. Number 10 movie of the year for me it's not box office it's not necessarily quality it's just what I liked so it's better than everybody else's list just kidding number 10 Monsters University um, <clears throat> while this movie did receive mixed reception it fared a little better than Brave and Cars 2 uh, Monsters University was pretty awesome a uh, a good prequel, which there's only like a handful of those, so that's good. Uh, it's better than The Phantom Menace. It's not really saying much, but uh, uh, it was a pretty good prequel. They didn't make me cry like Monsters, Inc., but basically you get to discover the origin of Mike and Sully's friendship. So, so you got that. Number nine. The Hunger Games. Can catch on fire. Or catching fire. I don't even care. So basically, this movie was... About, I think I, it was about as good as the first one. Some people said it was a little better. It was maybe a little better. Uh, but then there was this character, Finnick, who reminded me of Aquaman. Therefore, better than the first. That was it. That was that was my favorite part of this movie, was was uh, freaking Aquaman. I mean, Katniss is awesome as always, but my favorite new part? Aquaman. Or, or Finnick. Uh, uh, number eight. Iron Man 3. One of the most controversial and polarizing movies of the year. Ooh. Now, Iron Man 3 is freaking awesome. I wasn't the biggest fan of the twist, but it was freaking awesome anyway, okay? People were freaking out about stupid stuff. <clears throat> Basically, Robert Downey Jr. is charming as always. Next, number seven. Captain Phillips, Tom Hanks, one of the greatest actors ever. In fact, put him in every movie, and I might want to see it a little more. Uh, I, I reviewed Captain Phillips. It's the story of the Somali pirates um, capturing Captain Phillips, the titular character. And and Tom Hanks is freaking great, and the and the actors that play the Somali pirates are freaking great. And it's, it's freaking great. It's, only problem was there's too much shaky cam, but I can look past that and uh, and see that it was a pretty great movie. So, um, there you go. Number six. Pacific Rim. One of the greatest kaiju films ever made. Uh, Pacific Rim, while well, maybe not as influential as some other kaiju films like Gojira and Radon and uh, Varan, okay? Daikaiju Varan. Or King Kong. It was still pretty badass. Guillermo del Toro has a crazy imagination. Uh, monsters fighting giant robots. Epic battles all over the world. Idris Elba saying, We are canceling the apocalypse. Okay, great stuff. Next. Uh, number five. Another movie that is Idris Elba. Thor the Dark World, we are canceling Ragnarok! Okay? Uh, Thor the Dark World um, got mixed reviews. I thought it was pretty uh, badass. Uh, Thor is back, you know, uh, my favorite Avenger, uh, doing his Norse god business in Asgard. Then he comes to Earth and does some Earth business. And Loki's in it, uh, being a total badass. Uh, if I said badass uh, a lot in this video, take a drink. If you want, uh, uh, number four, Twelve Years a Slave. Um, a very sad movie, but very well made. Pretty much all the performances are great. Uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor, um, Paul Giamatti, uh, Michael Fassbender, Benedict Cumberbatch. Just an all-star cast. Okay, uh, an amazing film. Probably gonna win Best Picture, and guess what, guys? It deserves it. So, uh, that's Twelve Years a Slave. Uh. Number three, American Hustle. Uh, I didn't review this one, but here you go. Michael, uh, 
Jennifer Lawrence, um, Bradley Cooper, Christian Bale, Amy Adams, that chick who played Kate Lockley on Angel. Uh, a great movie, okay? From director David O. Russell, who did uh, Silver Linings Playbook, another movie that I enjoyed. So, um, did you guys notice that American Hustle rhymes with David O. Russell, the director's name? Because I noticed that. Anyway, there was a lot of superhero actors in this. The guy that played Batman. The guy that's gonna play Rocket Raccoon, Bradley Cooper. Uh, freaking Hawkeye, Mystique. Angel's kind of a superhero show, so Kate Lockley, Elizabeth Rom, and Lois Lane from one of the worst movies I've ever seen. So, uh, American Hustle, great movie. Okay? We're, get, we're getting into the nitty gritty. The last two, guys. What could it be? Number two. Gravity, starring uh, uh, Sandra Bullock and uh, George Clooney, <clears throat> and they're like the only like big actors in the movie. Like, there's really not a lot of actors in the movie. There's not a lot of characters, but um, this movie, this movie was freaking nuts, freaking nuts, so good. I haven't seen a movie like it. The cl the closest thing, uh. Was 2001 A Space Odyssey or Alien, which have freaking crazy weird sci-fi stuff. So if you're talking about realistic set in space movie that makes you feel like you're actually in space and makes it gives you the creepiness and the eeriness of being trapped in a in a in a spacecraft, Gravity takes the cake. Okay. So I would put it with Alien and 2001 A Space Odyssey, a, a, a new classic, a modern classic, guys. So, so what's what's left? Number one, you're probably asking all one of you at home that's watching this video. So, um, I'm gonna kind of break my rules. Crawl. Um, it's it's my favorite movie of 2013. It might have come out 30 years ago, but it's never too late for Crawl, the uh, science fiction film that um, all seven of you remember. Just kidding. Okay, as much as I like Crawl, it came out 30 years ago. That's bullcrap. It's not going to win. Frozen from Disney. Best movie of 2013. All right, guys. Frozen was a crazy film. All right. It brought me back. Back to when I was a little tyke. Little tyke watching The Lion King. And I was like, yeah, Hakuna Matata. And I'm like, now, yeah. Do you want to build a snowman? It's the same deal. Frozen is an amazing animated film. The best one I've seen since Toy Story 3, which came out more than three years ago. Holy crap is Frozen good. I love the characters. I love the music. The animation. Beautiful. Elsa has depth. Great character. I already reviewed it. You can watch my review to see, um, see me basically say similar things, but other stuff too. Elaborate on. So basically, that's the end, guys. 2013 in the bag. Some some great films here. Also, Man of Steel, which sucked. The end. Uh, Frozen? Will you marry me? I mean, take this Oscar for being such a great film. Now, I think it's inevitable it's gonna win Best Animated Feature, but I hope it's not for Best Picture too. I'm not greedy. 